Okay, we are live after several tries. Welcome. With our mic set up tonight. Here we are again. Guys, aren't you so happy to hear from us? Welcome to the Team Carter Family Adventure Podcast. Podcast Extraordinary Woo! Extravaganza. Uh, we are joining you live from uh, Team Carter Studios, of course, here in beautiful and sunny and actually kind of cloudy today, Rock Hill, South Carolina. Um, also known as Rock Vegas, also known as Rock Thrill, also known as The Rock, also known as The Hill. Um, uh, we are here this evening. I want to talk about a few things. Uh, Jen had an interesting dream recently. Yeah, so just we were talking about dreams as we do over morning coffee. And last night I had a dream that I was bringing, uh, we had a generous friend in real life give us... Um, some blueberry bushes thanks Heather and so in my dream I was bringing in those blueberry bushes and I was telling somebody in my dream like oh I'm bringing these inside because it's gonna be negative nine as in negative nine degrees tomorrow and somebody the person I was talking to was like yeah but it's summer it's like 95 degrees outside and I was like yeah I know this weather is gonna be so weird right like negative and I repeated it I was like negative nine degrees and then I woke up so I was talking to David about it and I was like maybe I felt like because I know feelings and dreams are usually kind of important so in the dream I felt like I was preparing for something um and maybe you know just kind of preparing for something like prepare for the unexpected or maybe um what did I say this morning? Just guarding your, I don't know, the fruit of your hard work because they were blueberries and I was bringing them inside because I wanted to protect them from the cold. So whether that's literal or metaphorical or what have you, um, yeah, if that applies to your life in any way, just maybe guard the fruit that you're seeing in your life. Maybe just guard what's important right now. Um, keep it close by because it might be negative nine tomorrow. You never know. Guard the fruit. I think it's a good word. Guard the fruit. Guard your fruit. Don't Otherwise, it's going to turn into popsicles outside. Don't cast your pearls to swine, so nope. to speak. No, don't do that. Guard your fruit. Um, on a different note, we caught a... We put out some traps, and we caught a mouse and a garter snake tonight. So back up, because we're not gross people, but we do live in a very old house from like the 40s. And so quite frequently we get these little field mice, especially when it rains a lot. I don't, mm -hmm. we, we haven't quite figured out how they're coming inside, but they do get inside and... Um, not like hordes of them, like usually one, <laughs> one here and there. But anyway, so we set out those little sticky traps and yeah, we, we caught one little field mouse and then today when he pulled out the trap, it was a mouse and a... And the snake that was chasing it were both stuck to the sticky trap. Yeah, and they're both dead, by the way. By the time we got to it, they were both had already passed away, so we didn't have to kill anything. So we pulled it out and you know, cleaned, cleaned a lot and... And, uh, and we had been cleaning the house more. And cleaned a lot. <laughs> and so, but that was pretty interesting. I don't know. How do, you, interesting. how do you feel like that applies, David? Since I, I shared my dream, how do you feel like that applies? I, you know, I don't, I don't think anything's a coincidence necessarily. Um, I don't believe in coincidences. Um, so, I don't know. Things are going to get chilly when the, when the mouse snake... Chases the mouse. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Really, it might have no meaning whatsoever. Um, but. Alright. We're back. Sorry for the quick break there. Um, we have a very special guest that's going to join us this evening. We have Mrs. Miriam Carter. Good evening, Miriam. How are you doing? Good. Miriam. We're going to do an interview with you, okay? Okay. All right, now you got to use your big girl voice, okay? Okay. Miriam, 
Do you like going on trips? All the trips that we go on? Yes. Which trip? Well, first, why do you like going on trips? Let me ask that. Um, because they're fun. Because they're fun? All right, what's been your favorite trip so far? Um, the lighthouse. I remember. The lighthouse. That's a good one. She's referring to Hunting Island State Park. Yeah, Honey Island State Park. Do you... What else was... Why was the lighthouse trip your favorite? Because the lighthouse was very high and there was a beach. There was a beach. Do you like the beach or the mountains better? Both. Both. Well, what do you like about the mountains? In fall, on the mountain where, these, where the streams are and the leaves turn colors... And, it, and the trees are next to a stream. It looks pretty pretty. Mm. And what do you like about the beach? You can go she see shell hunting on the beach mm-hmm. and play beach ball. Mm. And play beach ball. That sounds fun. Ma'am, how old are you? Eight. What's the best thing about being eight years old? Mm. I haven't found. <laughs> what is what is your favorite thing about being in our family? Mm, we go on lots of trips. Is that your favorite thing? Yeah. Why do you like going on trips? Because they're fun. Really? Do you guys do you guys have iPads on, on our trips and that kind of stuff, or you just go without it? Go without it. And what do you do with no iPads or anything? I just fight with Eleanor. <laughs> 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 you guys, she's honest. You guys don't fight the whole time, though, do you? You guys play. What games do y'all play? What kind of games do y'all play? Um. The ball. Yeah. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. What else? And rock, paper, scissors. What do you think about, like, when you just stare out the window? What do you think about? I fall asleep. You fall asleep. <laughs> and then what do you look most forward to, to wherever we're going? Do you look forward to, like, a hotel or a pool or is there something special that you look forward to or is it just being together in the car that's special or what what do you look forward to i'm looking forward to taking a very good nap Mm, that's a good one and do you know where we're going this summer yes where are we going the grand canyon the grand canyon why do you say it like that why not? Because. Give us your hot take on the Grand Canyon. It's Why a waste of summer break. <gasps> Whoa. <sighs> now we gotta we gotta dig into this, Miriam. Why is it a waste of summer break? I could be playing with Anina, and I could be playing with Anina and eating pelican snowballs. <laughs> well, that's instead a good of point. hiking in the hot, hot, hot oh, sun. Oh, we won't be hiking. We'll be walking. We won't be doing a lot. We'll, we won't be doing a lot of hiking, and we may even eat some pelican snowballs. <gasps> they they might, don't have any. They pelican. You don't know might that? even have pelican Let's snowballs out west. Do they Let's have? I don't. Right, well, hang on now. Let's, I'm looking it up right now. But Mama, what? Did you see the map of pelican snowballs? What? At pelican snowballs. It shows you where the most pelican snowballs are. Uh huh. There's none in the west, and only two in Texas. I bet they have some pelican snowballs in Texas. They and I bet they have the some. map shows all of them. But listen, listen. If there. anyone would like to open up a pelican snowballs franchise, we are not sponsored by pelican snowballs, but there are none in Arizona but and our children New Mexico. Do love them. But that is true. And there might there are going to be other businesses that have the same things. They just yep, might not be called pelican snowballs. There you go. Like why? I don't know. Well, we'll have to find out. The only Hawaiian shaved ice. Mm-hmm. Hawaiian shaved ice. Dole whips. Dole whips. Ice creams, I only, milkshakes, I only know, custards, frozen custards, smoothies. I only know the penguin truck mm-hmm. 
And Pelican The Kona Kona Ice. Ice. I bet they have something like that. Well, we're about to expand your frozen treat world by going out west. I don't want ice cream. Okay. I don't want snowballs. All right, so you are not necessarily super excited about our trip. Is that right? Not yet, anyway. But what if we were going to go see some of our friends? Who? Like Mr. Paul and Miss Amanda in Missouri. Well, I don't even, they're not even my friends. Well, not yet. Well, they're our friends. Listen, you're not going to talk her into getting excited. That's just not how it works. Oh, okay. she, she's just going to have to go and experience it. When you experience it, let me ask you this. Do you ever not have fun on our trips? Mm-hmm. Have you ever been on a trip and, and then you get home and you say, that trip was not fun? Yes or no? Yes. Like when? Last time we went to Lens Ford. What? You love Lens Ford? No, I don't. Y'all play on a playground? We've been there around. a million times. You run so around. So far. You play yeah. on the playground? You look we, at the spider Y'all talk about rock hopping the whole time talk about, there. Talk about hop rocking. And last time was for Mommy anyway. Oh, yeah, that's true. For Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. And you got to see the spider lilies, which only bloom once a year. Mm-hmm. For like two weeks, and then they're gone. So that was special. Well, Beer, if we didn't go to the Grand Canyon, what other kind of trip, where, what, where are the kind of trip should we take? This is a really fun trip I want to take. Oh, let me hear oh, it. Oh, okay. Miriam's perfect trip. Go to all the Pelican snowballs in the United States of America. <laughs> I love that trip. Somebody from Pelican Snowballs, give this girl a free Pelican Snowball. We love please. that trip idea, baby. Every single one. That would be fun. What's your favorite thing to get at Pelican Snowballs? Pelican mm. Snowballs originated in, I think, Louisiana, right? I have no idea. I think that's What's where your favorite thing to get there? Started. The rainbow. The rainbow snowball. And, and it's just shaped ice? That's all it is? It's a snowball. It's a, yeah, it's like it's a, a snow cone. It's a complete snowball. It's a snow cone with like a thousand flavor options, and for like a dollar fifty, you get pretty much anything you want. What does Grady and Elmer like to get? They're delicious. Elmer likes to get the unicorn. It's blue, pink, and a lot of whipped cream. Whipped cream? Yeah, whipped cream. And they even have like surprise gummy ones, right? Like a yeah, Grady gummy. got shark attack. It's red and blue with a shark gummy. Yeah. And sometimes I like to get the butterfly. Um, what is it called again? I guess the butterfly, yeah. Uh, the butterfly one? It's yellow, pink with a butterfly gummy. And mommy got, I tried a new one this time. I tried an orange creamsicle and it was fabulous. Orange cream. Uh-huh, it was good. Whatever they put in it, it was really good. They probably put orange and whisk cream. Probably. You're probably right. All right. You guys may hear Grady yell in the background potentially. I don't know, but... Uh, all right, Miss Miriam, tell us what are some of your favorite things to do right now, being eight years old? Hmm. Riding my two wheeler. All right. And playing with the air. Yeah. And now that it means is on summer break, pretty much playing with it. Okay. Is there, do you have any hobbies? Right now, just riding my two wheeler. But did you just finish something that you really love? No. Yeah, you did. You just had a recital for it? I, um, ballet. Ballet. Miriam, tell us, do you just love ballet so much? Yeah. Why do you love ballet? Because, um, all of it. All of it. She's really good at ballet. She's a very graceful ballerina. What specifically do you like about ballet? How we get to perform recitals and Christmas dance. You like performing in front of people? Yes. Like be on the stage? And you, and you really like your teacher too, right? Yeah. Can I have a cuddle? All right, we are back. So, we have two special guests with us this evening now. We have, of course, Mrs. Miriam. Say it loud, say it loud. Miriam. And Mrs. Eleanor. And, and I'm six. 
Eleanor is six, and how old are you, Miriam? Eight. Say it louder, baby. Eight. Eight. Okay. We got Miriam is at eight, and Eleanor is six. Now, Eleanor, we were just asking Miriam what some of her favorite things are. What are two of your favorite things? Go. Um, playing. You mean favorite or play? Favorite things. Favorite things. Okay, my favorite thing is to play the little guitar. To play the little guitar, okay. And play with my toys and snuggle up in my bed. Oh, that sounds wonderful. That sounds delightful. That sounds amazing. And Eleanor also just finished a ballet recital, didn't you? Yes. And what do you love about what do you love about doing recitals and doing ballet? Because you get to dance on the stage in front of people. Was it fun? Were and when I did this little up this morning, I just really said, believe in yourself when you need it. I was like, just believe in yourself when you need it. That's what I said. And did it make you brave? Yes. It made you brave. That's fun. What did you like about your ballet teacher? Hmm. She asked back my earring, and she told me, if your earring falls out, just leave it there. You just leave it there? Yes. You keep going. Who's your teacher? Those Miss Sarah. Miss Sarah of Miss Sarah's School of Ballet. And her birthday is on Faye's birthday, and she does ballet too. She does. And Miss Sarah, uh, Miss Sarah's School of Ballet is in Fort Mill, South Carolina, and she's a wonderful teacher, and she's very kind, and she loves Jesus, and she's just amazing. And so our girls really admire Miss Sarah. So thank you, Miss Sarah, for all that you do. Yeah, we think very highly of Miss Sarah. All right, Miss Eleanor, what has been your favorite trip that we have ever gone on as a family? You mean like the state parks? That's the only thing I can think of. Just any of them. Any um, of them. Playground. Which playground. playground. Which playground? Cherry Park. It's a good one. Cherry. That's a local park in Rock Hill, and it's a really good, really good playground. What do you love about Just Cherry Park? The stundus. That's okay. What do you love about Cherry Park? That it's shady, there's swings, there's also a dragon seesaw, there's also a climbing rock, there's also two big slides. It's a good one. And there's also some la there's also a ladder that's made out of wood. And there's also a baby section and a big kid section. And there's also lots there's also hundreds of swings and there's also a baby swing. But there's more kid swings. Eleanor, what do you want to be when you grow up? An artist. Because oh, I have 16 art kits. You have 16 art kits. Yes. Okay. Well, do you want to be like a painter or a drawer? Or Draw, paint! Or a poet? or What's a poet? Somebody who writes beautiful poems as art. Draw and paint. Draw and paint. And what do you want to paint? What kind of things do you want to paint? Paint stuff at home so I can put it on the, your wall. Ooh. Hi, Miss Eleanor. Thank you for joining us this evening. It's time to go to bed, okay? Hey, I want to give you a hug. All right, we're going to pick back up where we left off with Miriam. Miriam, you have some pretty big dreams for your future. Can you tell us about some of those? I want to be an astronaut and an engineer. And what do you want to do as an astronaut? Be the first person to ever go on Venus. On Venus? Yes. Well, I thought it was the first person to leave the solar system. Those are both really good goals. First I'm figuring out Venus, then I'll fin figure out the first person to be out of the solar okay, system. Let's just tackle Venus first, and then we'll deal with everything else. Is that right? Alright, and as an engineer, what do you want to do? Build instead of these cars that we have today, I would like to build these cable cars and you can decorate it any way you like. Can you do me a favor and sit up? So it's a cable car that you can do what with now? A cable car that you can decorate all you want make your own designs and you just push a button just push three buttons and tell it where you want to go and you'll get there in 10 seconds wow that's amazing that is amazing 
Kim, how do you feel about being a big sister? Hey. Tell the truth. It's okay. <sighs> I don't really like it. Why not? annoy me too much. Really? How do they annoy you? Mm, they're jumping around my bed, singing these crazy songs. Like what? Like, Alan made up a song like this. Do 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 do, my day is do 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 do. And then she says this. Mickey Macky Boo Ba Boo, Mickey Macky Boo Ba Boo. That's what Granny was singing, like pretty much the whole graduation ceremony today. Thanks, Eleanor. <laughs> they just love you a lot. They just want to be like you a lot. Because you're super cool. Oh, well, your sister. But I don't say Mickey Macky Boo Ba Boo. You did just now. Uh, Ooh. that didn't count. Why not? What's the best part about being a big sister? The best part is I get to boss them around. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like to make them do? Make their beds, clean their room. Good job, Mo. What's your favorite planet? My favorite planet? Mm -hmm. Saturn. Why Saturn? Because it has pretty rings, and I like the color. Ooh. What color is it? Kind of like a brown. So I like the color of that. Like a brownish yellow? Yeah, yeah brownish yellow. How do you know it's brownish yellow? Have you seen it? Movies. You've seen the Daddy Telescope, too, right? Movies, pictures, telescope, everything. You like looking through Daddy's Telescope? Very much. Why do you like looking through the telescope? Because I can see planets closer up. You think you'll go to those planets one day? Mm. Eventually. Why do you like space so much, Mia? Because I want to learn more about it. Why? Because. Nobody knows very much about it. Like if aliens exist, if there are bigger solar systems out there. What else? What else do you want to know about space? If aliens are real. You think aliens are real? I hope. Why? I want to learn how to speak aliens. <gasps> I heard that some of them speak beeps. Who said that? A book. A book said that? What did it sound like? Mm, 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 mm. On the computer. Yeah, what did it say? This is this is how a book talks on the computer. You have the computer, it reads a book to you. You mm -hmm. pick out a book, it reads a book to you. This is the library? Yeah. What else do you want to know about space? If aliens are real, if there are other solar systems out there that are in a way that are like a hundred times bigger than our solar system. I can pretty much tell you that there are definitely solar systems way bigger than ours out there. Is it because you want to discover something new that no one yeah. has ever discovered anything yeah. about? Ooh, like a new star or a new planet a new or a star. new... If I find a new star, I'm going to name it after me. Ooh. Are you going to name it Miriam? Mm, no. Are you going to name it Momo? No. What are you going to name it? What is outside? It's raining out there. Oh. You named your Pinewood Derby car this year and Cub Scouts after a star. What star did you name it after? Betelgeuse. And what star is that? The big red star. Yeah? Do you remember what constellation it's a part of? It might be tricky. It's the, I um, think it's the same one as the... Oh. For... Is it... Correct me. Is it... Oh... Uh, 
Say it. Say it. Orion. Yep. Not O'Brien, but. Oh, O'Rion. Now we originally said <laughs> we 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 originally said it was O'Brien because O'Brien's cool too. Uh, O'Brien's cool too is a character from Star Trek called Chief O'Brien. I mean, me and Miriam have watched every single one. Well, maybe not every single episode, but most of the episodes of Deep Space Nine, Star Trek. Almost all the episodes of Star Trek Voyager. Voyager. Most of the episodes of of, of the Next Generation, right, Miriam? What's the most popular series? Mm-hmm. The popular series is Strange New Worlds. So there's a new Star Trek. So let's talk about that. Okay. There's a new Star Trek series out called Strange New Worlds. And it follows... It's only three episodes! It's true, there's only three episodes out so far. But if you are a fan of Star Trek, I'm going to highly... It's like original, classic Star Trek. It's not... It's not... Um, it's episodic, so it's not serialized. It's not these ongoing, long, long, long-term storylines. There are a couple of long threads through it, but for the most part, it's your classic weekly adventure Star Trek. That's and it cool. Is, it is very good. There's no... Um, and, and honestly, it's it's... It's fairly wholesome. There's some violence, but there's no, you know, there's nothing that you would want to eat or to watch. I'll put it that way. So far. So far. Family friendly content. We're only three episodes in, so. But you like Strange New Worlds, right? Yeah. What's the captain's name? Do you remember? Nope. Captain Pike. There's only three episodes. How am I supposed to remember? Is it the captain's name? What's your favorite thing about watching Star Trek? Hmm. That's fun. And it's in space. Yeah. And they invent gravity on the spaceship. Yeah. Who's your gravity. favorite character? Mm-hmm. Yes. And which one? In any of them. In any of them. Um, and Voyager the Captain. You like Captain Janeway? Yes, Captain Janeway. Why do you like Captain Janeway? Because she's the boss. You got that and right. she's a girl. She's not bossy. She's the boss. Who else do you? I thought I thought you were gonna say Neelix, honestly, but I'm glad you said. Who's that. Neelix? Who's Neelix? The cook from Voyager. Who? The Talaxian? I don't remember who that is. You used to really like Kess. I remember who Kess is. You used to love Kess. I used to say Kess is gone. Kess is gone. And uh, who was the girl that was like half Borg and half? The seven of nine. Seven of nine. Mm-hmm. Right. She was a bad guy, right? And then she becomes a good guy or yep. something. Who's your favorite character on Deep Space Nine? Hmm? Or do you remember? Do you remember Deep Space Nine with Captain Cisco? I don't. Know. And Lieutenant Worf. I don't know. That. Is that the one with Chakotay? No, that was Voyager. Okay. Oh, Joe Cote. I get them all confused. It's the first officer. Alright, so... I'm all mixed up! Oh, he was with Janeway. Yeah, Alright. He was with Janeway. Who's your favorite character on The Next Generation? I don't know. We was it... it. Was it... Jordy LaForge, a.k.a. LaBar Burton? Jordy. And I Jordy's don't know what you're talking about. Right. What, what the guy with the... The, the guy with the, the, visor. Uh, the visor over his... <sighs> the special glasses over his eyes. Those aren't glasses. What are they? It makes you blind. No, no <laughs> it doesn't make you blind. <laughs> well, apparently, what we have discovered here, good friends, that are listening to this podcast, is that we need to go back and watch Star Trek Next Generation again. Yeah. That is a burden that we will happily take on. Right, Miriam? Yeah. Remember Captain Picard? Nope. Oh, unbelievable. Earl Grey hot. T. Earl Grey hot. I don't even know we can talk. All right, so do you remember... What they say at the beginning of the episodes? No. Space. Space. The, the final, final frontier. frontier. Keep going. What's the next part? I have no idea. These are the voyages of, of the star ship into the rise. It's I continuing mission. Oh, we don't remember. So we gotta watch that. I don't Our remember point. anything. Yes, yeah, she does. She took one minute. It's only two years away. So to explore uncharted. To explore strange new worlds. Strange to seek new out worlds. new life and new civilizations. Okay, David knows that. I know it all, but I'm not gonna say the rest of it. Da 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 now, do we like Star Trek or Star Wars better? What do you think? Ooh, the debate. 
Ooh, ooh, I know, I know. What? What? Easily I can say Star Wars. Now, why? Hang on now. Why do you like Star Wars better? Because of Darth Vader. Because of Darth Vader? No, Darth Vader. <laughs> There's another... <laughs> but you also like the Bad Batch. There's another Star Trek character that you really, really like. Who's that? Ahsoka? Well, yeah, but what about... Anakin Skywalker? Ah, Grogu. Grogu's your favorite? We're definitely and Mandalorian. In yeah. We're definitely in a Grogu phase. Definitely in a Grogu phase. That's true. And Jojo C.Y. Jojo C.Y. I, I, I'm not even sure what Jojo C.Y. is, honestly. Who are you? It's totally unrelated I'm to I'm Star totally Wars. I'm totally times. Mary, who is Jojo C.Y.? What does she do? Jojo C.Y. is a famous singer. Do you know what song she sings? What does she sing? I haven't listened to her songs. <laughs> 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 there you go. There you have it, folks. But I have lots of her clothes. Yeah. And a watch. Really? Thanks, Walmart. No, Amina. Oh, okay. Thanks, Amina. She's not allowed, JoJo. Oh, okay. Well, Miriam, I think that probably wraps it up for us with you this evening. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say thanks for being a special guest on our podcast. It was a pleasure having you. Thank you for being here. You're welcome. Any parting thoughts or words of wisdom? Uh, no. Anything you want to say to the people out there in podcast land? Nope. Any messages you want to give? Anything you want to communicate? Nope. Ma'am, if you had to give one piece of advice to somebody, what would you say? Uh, I don't know. If you had to say what the meaning of life was, what's all behind it, what are we all here for, what do you think it is? Adventures? Adventures? Yeah. Just one word. Adventures. That's what the meaning of life is? Uh-huh. It's not too bad. It's good. It's not too bad at all. I mean, it's been a lot of fun talking to you. You're welcome. Time to go to bed, okay? Say bye, everybody. We love bye, everybody. You. Goodbye, everybody, and good night. Peace.